working on infectious disease for quite some time and then but it was with different groups for example for pneumonia one group managers another group and finally we have a group in fact who were working together for all the studies but uh, it was mainly based on that one hospital and gradually we thought that okay uh, we are making very good progress and our contributions or our evidences are being used by the policy makers. So subsequently we formed a multidisciplinary group um, with the same group who are working for Dhaka Shishu Hospital and also ICDRB. So all the colleagues together and also we have another colleague from Johns Hopkins University. So together we formed a group, multidisciplinary group and which is mainly to work on the infectious diseases. And that's, that organization is named as Child Research Foundation because we wanted to focus on Child Research Foundation. Its main objective of that, our, our crew, to really leverage um, the facilities, whatever facilities we are having, whatever resources we are having, generate some evidence and they will be bringing more resources and we will be more uh, will be having more and more freedom, in fact, to work on this and generate evidences. And based on that, we really, one by one, we are generating evidences, and then we realize that it is, yes, it is drawing attention, and then based on that, we change the treatment policy, we sometimes really work on the diagnostics to make sure that we can detect the disease very quickly. At the same time, we thought, why don't we go more in the policy? So when we are really publishing the papers, we are giving a lot of lot of impressions about the implication in immunization policy, and that helped us in fact in a way. So our our evidences were really getting a lot of attention from the global audience, and that evidences helped us to get the hay vaccine. But it was really delayed. It's more than two decades. It took us to get the uh, hay vaccine published. But still, we still feel proud because it's not only we really first time in this whole region we generated the data and we first time we really created the evidence. Yes, we have hip diseases and most of those diseases, meningitis mainly, is really caused by hemophilus influenza type B and we also showed that drug resistance is very high. So we started working on even multi-drug resistance on hemophilus influenza since the 1990s. So all those publications really helped us a lot, in fact. Then we worked together um, with ICDDRB, Professor Abdullah Helbaki, on the impact of a vaccine, to using the HIV vaccine as a probe study, and then uh, which really revealed that we have a large burden of hemophilus influenza type B, which helped us to get HIV vaccine in this country. But these evidences, not only really influenced the policy of Bangladesh. We gradually recognized that we are going to India, we are presenting our data, and that helped India also to gradually uh, introduce hemophilus and free type B vaccine. But more importantly, when we are working on hemophilus and free type B, we are also working on pneumococcus. And then now we see the pneumococcal vaccine, especially the second generation pneumococcal vaccine, which is 10 and 13 valent, they really did not take even a decade. They came almost at real time to Bangladesh. So that's, that's possibly our biggest uh, satisfaction, that we can really uh, influence the policy decisions, and that influence of policy decisions goes beyond the boundary of Bangladesh. So Child Research Foundation is a small organization, but it and it is mainly led by the basic science group like microbiologists, biochemists together, but at the same time we have clinicians and epidemiologists. On the other hand, we really whatever group we are professionals, but we do not limit our work to the laboratory or in the words. We generate the evidence, then we go to the policy decisions. And then, and 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 then policy. We, so we, we can say we go for advocacy, and then advocacy is something which sometimes entertaining. In fact, the way we we have a BBC documentary uh, on hemophilus influenza disease burden. At the same time, 
we have a lot of publications on advocacy and we have pneumonia day all those things you work with the ministers you work with the parliament members not only the parliament members of bangladesh you also work with the parliament members of the british parliament members of the british parliament so we work together and everything helped us to get the pneumococcal vaccine almost at real time in bangladesh and one other thing we are really very careful that when we are talking about vaccine we are mainly talking about the vaccines which are um which will be coming to the children who need it most so example uh we really did not encourage the government or the policy makers to bring this vaccine in the private sector rather we wanted to get this vaccine from day one in the immunization program so that our children who needed it most with get the vaccine so that's the way we are making the progress at the same time so from where we generate this data we have a network of hospitals so where we are really getting large number of patients that's one way of doing this but at the same time if you really want to understand the disease burden then you need a really cohort so we have a population based site in rural bangladesh which is managed by child research foundation and that population based site is invested in a demographic surveillance system and when we are running a demographic surveillance system we really know about everything about the foreign population i mean especially the mother and um, the children uh, we know that they are expected delivery day and from there we'll be knowing the newborns and any study you want to do the newborns we can really understand what is the expected delivery date so we do a lot of studies with the longitudinal cohort and from this longitudinal cohort what we can do is design the studies and then we collect the specimens according and follow up these babies so those things are there in our with this small group very new organization but we are working with multiple groups and generating the evidence and finally i should say we started with very very limited resources and uh, and we proved yes we are low middle income country nowadays we our resources are limited but i don't think that can hinder the research if we really use the it can use the if you can make the best use of the limited resources and best and rational use of limited resources then we can generate the evidence and whatever evidence we generate from the con these countries where really there are very minimum evidences there it draws attraction and that will bring more resources people will be coming to us to collaborate and then gradually we really created a change that vicious cycle of limited resources no evidence and we are remaining in limited resources we change that from the limited resources we generate evidence and finally we get a number of collaborators around us and based on that we now we are running multiple studies uh, not only in bangladesh even bangladesh even in india even in pakistan we are supported by bill and melinda gates foundation to do a study in three different countries so we designed the study in a way that uh we can get a large number of newborns with possible serious bacterial infections and then we did everything possible to understand the etiology of these cases so in in short i should say we brought the best possible technologies of the world i mean where even the even in the developed world those technologies are not used in the routine way rather we went for research we brought all those technologies in the for the places where children are dying so we really bridged the gap because if you look at the countries with most of the infectious diseases and most of the children are dying and the countries of the most of the technology are there there is a huge gap there is a um i mean illogical distribution of child death and um and the availability of technologies we really bridge that in this project and in this project uh, we enrolled um 70000 uh, babies and followed them up and we did a uh, process of specimens as a pharyngeal and blood specimens for multiple etiological agents and we are coming up with evidences what really these babies are who were we are calling them infection based on who definition um so we will coming up the etiology and then bacteria virus all kind of etiological agents 
and it was a great experience. This is the first time it's such a big study were, were done in three different countries and it was coordinated by a team which based in this part of the world. That's the CHRF team coordinated this work in fact and the study completed data management and everything was done by the local team only and possibly it should be recognized for many many years as a very well managed and well designed study. That is, the Child Research Foundation is really extended beyond Bangladesh and they are working to make sure that all these whole region are getting benefited from this organization and that's what we are, and we are looking forward to go even beyond this region. In the recent future, what we are planning to do now, we know that the countries neighboring to us, they are in some ways maybe we are behind, but in some cases they are really behind. Let me give you one example. If we look at the, the evidences about hemophilus and friendly type B and pneumococcus, there are very minimum evidence from a vast country like India. So we are gradually involving with the different studies on pneumococcus in India to make sure that we are helping them in building capacity, we are helping them to get training from our place and then we are going to the place to work with them together. And what is our dream? In the next few years, we will not need to go to India anymore. The people who are getting trained from us, they will be training theirs and gradually you will be seeing a lot of evidences from Indian sites and Indian hospitals and Indian population based sites about this pneumococcal disease and other, other diseases and which will be helping us in fact to generate evidence for India and if we can really do something um, significant in India that will be a global impact because the, that's the largest uh, cohort where the children are dying and if we can really prevent those deaths through, these, through our work that will be great satisfaction for the whole, whole group of Child Research Foundation. At the same time we cannot prevent all the diseases and gradually while we are doing this surveillance we can understand that we are really um, have encountering a large number of multi-type resistant strains. So, so an anti resistance is becoming a very big problem. Considering this that the no new molecules are coming, we are really focusing on that as well. But we are looking at antimicrobial resistance possibly in a different way because we are not only limiting our work to the hospitals and we are not only limiting to our work to the antimicrobial resistance. We will say we are, we, are, we are really looking at the both the side of the coin. I mean antimicrobial resistance at the same time the susceptibility. Um, so the literature we are seeing until now we really see that we are publishing multi-resistant strains. Even one uh, multi-resistant strains are becoming a big news in Lancet and many other journals. But important thing, we are looking at the community as well. It's not only the ICU where most of the drug resistance strains are there we are reporting. So at the same time we are going to the community from where most of the people are living. And we are looking at the drug resistance pattern. So our main objective to generate the real picture that the ICU strains are not the representative of the microbes. So that should not be the driving uh, evidence for which we will be making the treatment policy. That should be the driving uh, policy decision ingredient. So what we should do, we should go to the community and see what is the scenario there and make sure that the, the, even in the community we are not really applying what we should apply in the ICU where multi-tap resistant strains are there or in the hospital where most of the multi-tap resistant, resistant organisms are there. So these are the very important thing. We are giving a lot of attention on this. We are looking at the molecular aspects of these multi resistant strains. At the same time, as large number of cases in, uh, in our country are coming with prior antibiotic, so large number of microbes are being detected just by other diagnostics where you do not get the bacteria itself. So it is very difficult to know whether the bacteria are resistant or susceptible. So what we are doing now, we are optimizing the methods, molecular methods to detect the gene from the non-culturable specimens so that we can say exactly 
what is the resistance pattern of those cases as well. So we are aiming to generate a very comprehensive scenario of drug resistance in the microbes for the infection, causing infectious diseases in Bangladesh. So that's the next objective of Child Access Foundation.